Hi, it's Miss Pretzel in the Appleton West Library, and it's time for resource review. So in our library research resources folder, all those ours. I'm gonna be like Elmer Fudd one of these days. All right, um, exploring issues was a database I I've been in, and I'm like, oh well, that's a nice overview, but there's really a lot more to it, and it's in a good way, not like an overwhelming way. So they take these issues like this one, the hot issue is the op opioid epidemic and who's responsible for it, uh, abortion, animal rights, uh, cell phones, climate change, cyberbullying, death penalty, euthanasia, gun control, you know, all these issues where there's a wide range of viewpoints on and a lot of uh, very diverse viewpoints. So uh, online privacy. So they have a nice overview and they make it look nice and compact by having what are called these expandable and collapsible menus. So you can choose to read them. So it's like headings in a, a textbook. Um, but what really gives the depth to this is so they give you this overview of online privacy, but then over here you've got these questions. I'm gonna just uh, see if I can do my control plus plus. So it says, uh, should online privacy be sacrificed for national security? So if I click on this, it's gonna give me the debate at a glance, which is really nice because they give you like some quotes and like just a couple of points, and then you can go to that full argument. Now, my question is, if I go to this full argument, is it going to bring me to, so is some privacy must be sacrificed for national security, which is this one right here. So yes, you can go directly to that. And so the opposite, you know, is that uh, uh, should not be, privacy should not be sacrificed for national security. And then you get, that point of view. And once again, there's focus questions, um, an introduction, threats to free speech and free press, um, uh, no defense against wrong information, no more checks and balances, a threat to democracy, and an infographic. So there's a little infographic for you. And how to cite the page on the bottom. So really, um, we have the database opposing viewpoints, which is great. We have a database called ProCon. This Exploring Issues is really basically does the same thing as that. They take certain issues like online privacy. And what I kind of like is that they don't just, I'm gonna say show this. Um, they give you what? One, two, three, four, four, different points that can be debated on this. So when you think about they have what 37 topics and they give you four different points on that and a pro and a con for each of those points. Uh, this is a really good database, especially if you're doing any kind of argumentative um, writing research or else. So, and once again, the topics, if you look at the topics, there's uh, topics that relate to science, there's topics that relate to social studies. Uh, ELA can fit a lot of these in, so, um, and even health, I think there would be some topics for. So, uh, this is a database that could be used for a lot of different subject areas. So, I hope uh, you find this helpful, and um, have a fantastic day.